I'm supplying 12 volts here from this variable power supply. So I've uploaded the firmware compiled from Marlin, Marlin version 2.0.6. So let's turn it on. So you can see here that it says no printer detected on the bottom, no printer attached. So let's try to move the axis. Moving the x axis, nothing's happening, which is that one for the x axis. The y axis is the one in the middle, still nothing, and also for the z, nothing. So we go back to the main menu, go to the one two one two eight six four mode. Go to motion. Go to move axis. Let's move X. Choose ten millimeters. Let's move it. So the one on the left should move. See, it's moving. Let's exit that. Move the y axis next. You can see it's moving as well. Let's exit that. And the z. See, it's moving. So, there seems to be a problem with the touch screen. So, I'm going to recompile Marlin and re upload on the board. So what I did to fix this was to go to the configuration and then set serial port 2 to 0 with the baud rate at 250,000 which was not mentioned from Chris Riley's tutorial so this made it work for me for the touchscreen so now I'll be moving my compiled firmware to the board So it's now on the SD card. I'm gonna close that. Disconnect. Then reconnect again. And that will update the firmware when we reconnect.
so now the firmware has been updated to September 5, 2020. Now we can continue to test. So I've compiled the Marlin software and uploaded it onto the board. The, it has the new color display and has a lot lots of options. So we begin by checking the menu here. It says it's ready. So for the fan, this one is the parts fan and this one is the cooling fan for the hot end. So now we'll try to turn this on. Going full. As you can see it works. And we can even control the duty okay let's try that again you can see starting to turn 50% Stop that. Now we'll try to operate these stepper motors, the X, Y, and Z. So let's move the X axis, making a quarter turn. And for the Y axis, the Z, yes, uh, also lots of options. We can invert the the axis. We can even enable start and end G codes. We can control the LCD brightness. I guess here we can even change these steps. We can change the driver current. This one will be useful when when we do sensorless homing. We can change the values on the fly. We can even change the 
communication speed. We can read from three sources, from the USB, from the onboard SD card, and another SD card at the back of this display. For now, I couldn't use this because I don't have the hot end connected. Now we go to Marlin. We have the info screen, motion, the normal items on the Ender 3. Configuration, advanced settings, you can even set offsets. Steps, you got still chop enabled.